From giant hairy spiders that could eat a small bird to strange mutant flying scorpions, here are the 10 weirdest insects in the world. Giant Water Bug the giant water bug is one of the biggest insects that I'd never want to meet. The North American species can grow to be 2.5 inches 6 centimeters long, which might not be much to you, but it's certainly big in the insect world. South American giant water bugs can grow to be 4 inches 10 centimeters long, and that is even more impressive. These weird bugs can be found lurking below the surface of lakes and ponds where they have a tendency to nibble on the toes of unsuspecting swimmers. This is why another name for giant water bugs is toe biters they cannot get enough of human feet. Giant water bugs can fly, despite their long and weird bodies, which are not aerodynamic at all, but what's even weirder is that they carry their eggs on their backs. What happens is the female will deposit her eggs on the back of her mate. The male giant water bug will then carry the eggs for about two weeks until they hatch. During this time, he ferociously protects them from predators, brings them to the surfaces so that they can get oxygen, and he moves water around his body in such a way to keep the eggs oxygenated and hydrated. Now that's a great devoted father right there. Water bugs will also play dead when they are threatened. It's a behavior known as thanatosis. If you were to ever pick up a giant water bug, it will probably look dead. But don't be fooled, it's just waiting to wake up and bite you, preferably somewhere on your feet. Just be careful around these big insects, especially in unfamiliar bodies of fresh water. Will you be looking twice next time you go barefoot in a lake or a swamp? I know I will. Let me know if you've ever had an unpleasant aquatic bug encounter in the comments below. Titan Beetle Meet the world's biggest beetle, with a name to match. This is the Titan Beetle, and it can grow to be almost 7 inches, 18 centimeters long. That's big enough to stretch from the tip of your middle finger to the bottom of your palm, unless you are also a giant and have particularly large hands. Titan Beetles live in the tropical rainforests of South America, specifically in Colombia, Peru, Brazil, the Guianas, and Ecuador. And while they are extremely large, they aren't actually aggressive. They do have jaws that are strong enough to break a pencil or cut your flesh, but they won't typically attack you first. You just need to be careful of their pinchers when you pick them up. Like most beetles, the Titan beetle males will fly around in the humid season looking for mates, following around pheromones in search of romance and to reproduce. It's their version of cuffing season. But one of the weirdest things about Titan beetles is that once they are grown, they may actually stop eating. These giant bugs may only eat as larvae, eating decaying wood beneath the ground. Because they only spend a few weeks as adults and scientists don't know much about the insect's biology, some scientists suggest they simply don't eat at all while in their adult forms. They get all their calories when they are larvae, then just survive off of their surplus stores of energy as adults, trying only to reproduce. This happens until they run out of energy and eventually die. There are all types of animals out there, and some of them have strange ways to focus on what nature intended them to do. Scorpion Fly what is weirder than a scorpion fly hybrid? I can't think of much. This weird bug is known as the scorpion fly, and it has a strange combination of the characteristics of both a fly and a scorpion. It almost looks like a wasp with a curling scorpion stinger. But the weirdest thing is that even though the scorpion fly males do have tails, they don't actually sting with them. It looks exactly like a scorpion tail, but it's purely a visual effect. The bulging end of the tail is actually the reproductive organ of the male. It's not a stinger. It can't hurt you, it's only used to fertilize the eggs of the female scorpion fly after the male has courted her using gifts of food and pheromones. Female scorpion flies do not have the scorpion-like tail. However, both males and females of these species kind of look like wasps. They have yellow and black wings and pointy noses. Females lay their eggs inside of rotting wood, and the larvae that come out weeks later look a lot like caterpillars and grow by eating whatever dead insects they find in the wood. In order to become an adult, the little caterpillar babies must go through metamorphosis. There's no doubt about it, these animals are confusing, but a swarm of them would terrify anyone. What do you think? Would you be scared if a hundred or more scorpion flies started charging at you in an aerial swarm? Let me know how you'd react in the comments section below, but first, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. There are more impressive fact videos coming out all the time, and you won't want to miss them. Assassin Bug 
The assassin bug is one of the weirdest insects in the world. It's an insane bug that you have probably never heard of. Some might even call this creature absurd. It's a fearless and ferocious bug that sucks its prey dry and then dresses in their corpses like a morbid mad scientist. The assassin bug impales its victims, drains them of their internal organs, then attaches the corpse of the slain onto its back. A young assassin bug will literally craft a backpack of dead ants and other insects to show how fearsome it is. And not just one or two bugs, it will build up a giant shield of dozens of dead creatures and carry them around. This gives the assassin bug the appearance of a weird boss from some creepy video game. Not only does a backpack of dead bugs work as a deterrent for those other creatures who might want to eat the assassin bug, it also works as armor. It's hard to eat something that has 17 victims piled on its back. The assassin bug's favorite thing to eat and wear are ants, termites, and bees. These things are absolutely fearless, and to make things even stranger, there are supposedly 7,000 species of assassin bugs all over the world, which means there's a good chance you could find one to make into a pet. Would that scare off potential intruders the way a guard dog would? I don't know, but I'd like to find out. Giant Burrowing Cockroach Everyone hates cockroaches. There is nothing worse than opening the utensil drawer and finding a hive of smelly cockroaches scurrying off deeper into your cabinets. It's one of the most revolting experiences one can have in their lifetime, which makes it even more unpleasant to talk about the weirdest and heaviest cockroach in the world. It's known as the giant burrowing cockroach, and yes, it actually hisses at you. The giant burrowing cockroach will build intricate nests to protect itself and hide out from predators. Interestingly, it also gives birth to live babies, which is unusual for insects. And most importantly, it's seriously huge. It's only the second largest cockroach in the world by length, but it beats all others in terms of weight. Giant burrowing cockroaches typically burrow into deep soil. They can create labyrinths beneath the soil up to 20 feet, 6 meters long. And at the very end of these weird tunnels, cockroaches set up little apartments. They actually leave their young inside these burrows and take care of them for up to 6 months until they're ready to fend for themselves. They are one of the most conscientious insect parents on Earth. They take such good care of their young babies that it's hard to think about stomping on one of these bugs just because it grosses you out. Don't forget, cockroaches are a part of the world's ecosystem too. Brazilian Tree Hopper the Brazilian tree hopper is another weird bug, and it's got this particularly strange appendage on its head, one that has scientists scratching their heads trying to figure out what it's for. You see, the Brazilian tree hopper has six legs and a crown in the shape of four spheres. That's right, this strange insect lives in the Amazon rainforest and has one of the coolest hats of any insect, a ball hat. It has two sets of balls on its head that look like a TV antenna of some sort. The balls on top of the tree hopper's head are believed to have evolved as a kind of illusion meant to distract predators who are trying to bite the bug in the face. Rather than biting its actual face, they will bite its distraction balls above its head so that it can get away. According to a report from Science Focus, most scientists believe the ball structures on the insect's head actually mimic a parasitic fungus known for infiltrating the bodies of ants and eventually killing them. This leaves the Brazilian tree hopper pretty safe, as no predator wants to eat such a dangerous fungus. So it's a disguise, and a pretty impressive one at that. Atlas Moth I'm not sure if Atlas Moths are cool or weird, or a little bit of both. They almost look like they have fuzzy bat bodies because of their long antenna that look kinda like bat's ears. But other than that, they definitely look like moths, and yes, the Atlas Moth is the biggest moth in the world in terms of its wing surface area. The Atlas Moth can grow to be about 12 inches, 30 centimeters, meaning it can stretch its wings from one side of your face to the other. Atlas Moths have no mouth, so even though these creatures are huge, they actually can't bite you or bite anything. Once they they emerge from their cocoons, they don't eat a single thing. They rely on energy storage from their earlier stages in life to survive, and they don't have to survive for long. They typically die within about a week, and yes, that is pretty depressing. Just like the titan beetle, it seems the atlas moth focuses on exactly one thing once it becomes an adult. Eating more isn't important, it's all about reproduction and making way for the next generation of moth babies. Goliath Bird Eater the Goliath Bird Eater is the largest and most disturbing spider in the world. Is it weird? Absolutely, yes. Every spider is weird in its own way. What kind of freakish creation has eight legs, shoots webs out of its rear end, and has poisonous bites that can, in some species, actually kill a fully grown human? Only a spider. But the Goliath Bird Eater is not poisonous. It is a walking nightmare, since it's the size of a small puppy, but it's not poisonous. Guinness World Records does have the spider listed as the largest in the world. It has a leg span of about the size of a child's forearm. Basically, this spider could probably eat your chihuahua or your guinea pig. Don't underestimate this creature. 
Even though it's not poisonous, it's got a few tricks when it wants to fight. One of the most unusual and dangerous tactics of this spider is that it rubs its hind legs against its abdomen, causing a cloud of hair to burst off it full of microscopic barbs. It's basically a microscopic dust cloud full of tiny needles that can get into your eyes and become extremely painful. Think about 1,000 tiny needles piercing your eyeballs and staying there for days. That is the Goliath Bird Eater's weirdest special power, and it's one reason I would never mess with it. Would you? Jewel Beetle How about a bedazzled beetle? Is that weird enough for you? The jewel beetle is a pretty typical insect, but they look very weird. It looks like someone got their hands on the beetle and turned it into a bedazzled cell phone case. These beetles appear to be covered in very shiny jewels, and there are a lot of different subspecies of the jewel beetle. For example, you have the glittering jewel beetle, the metal jewel beetle, the emerald jewel beetle, the brush jewel beetle, and even the giant jewel beetle. The brush jewel beetle, from an aesthetic perspective, is my favorite. It's super unique in the fact that it's bright and covered in spiky hairs. It's like a work of art in a living creature. It almost looks like a caterpillar beetle, with hairs that look inherently poisonous, though they are not. But what's really weird about jewel beetles is that it can take 35 years for immature jewel beetles to turn into adults. That's a seriously long time for any organism. If you like long-lived and beautiful insects, there is a lot to be said for the jewel beetle as a very unique pet. Would you want to have one? Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite. Wax-tailed hopper the final weird insect for today is the wax-tailed hopper. This bizarre animal has a pattern of hair that resembles one of those old troll dolls. It's super unique and very different from other animals in the rainforest. It looks like a normal fly and a half-eaten cheese string put together. Its body is super weird, and its tail appears to be shredded. But in fact, its tail is made out of wax. The wax-tailed hopper actually squirts wax from its body, wax it creates within its body thanks to the plant juices it eats. And the wax accumulates until it has formed a sort of long-haired tail. The insect uses its wax tail as protection to keep predators away from it and as a cushion in case it falls off a branch. Sometimes the waxy tail will even break off, but the wax-tailed hopper will just grow another one. Also, females will use their wax to protect their eggs until they hatch. And finally, the whiteness of all that wax helps the bug to stay camouflaged in the rainforest. So if you had a whole army of these insects, you could try to make your own candles out of their waste. And they would, without a doubt, be some extremely strange and unique candles. Which bizarre bug is the weirdest? Tell me in the comments below and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time for another amazing video.